Hello everyone. Um, today <laughs> I want to do a video about how I made this card and um, it's kind of mini mixed media. Um, I, I created these three little tiles using this product called Super Thick Slap It On. Isn't that a wonderful name? Super Thick Slap It On from Indigo Blue. Um, it's a texture paste of sorts. And to make them, I'm going to be using a sticky mat. And my sticky mat is um, hmm, any port in a storm kind of sticky mat because it's part of a carrier sheet for my uh, silhouette portrait. Um, the top half had got used rather a lot and damaged so I just chopped it off and I can pop this into a stamp platform. I can use it for stenciling, all sorts. What I did do however was I gave it a little refresh of stickiness with this Crafter's Companion Stick and Spray. It's a repositionable, it's a difficult word to say, repositionable um, adhesive. Um, and it'll, it'll just help to keep whatever I put on my sticky mat stuck. So, what I'm using is a mask that I made from Mylar. Mylar is a kind of a plasticky something or other. And I want to put these three little tiles into the mask on the sticky mat so that I can apply my texture. Um, to cut this, I used this little die from Sizzix. It's really handy because it kind of cuts three, in one, three at once. And it has an accompanying die, which is... A background and I've already cut my background for the project for later. So that is what I used. Here are my three little um, pieces of black card and I'm going to pop them onto my sticky mat. I'm going to put this out of the way because knowing me I'll splatter it with something if I'm not careful. So I'll put that over there out of the way. Okay so here is my mask that I'm going to pop onto, put it in line with the. So I just cut a piece of mylar. That is, the, the size I've cut is a quarter of a British sheet of A4. So I'm going to pop these into the gaps so that they too can be attached to the sticky mat. Okay. One, two, three. Next, I'm going to put this stencil or mask, whichever way you care to call it, over, the, over that. This one is by Lavinia Stamps. It's called Leaf Mask. I wish manufacturers would actually print on there or, you know, etch or whatever what the, the manufacturer's name is but we can't win them all can we so what I'm going to do is put that oh before I go on I have given a little spray of this stick and spray on the back of here too because this one isn't going to have any chance to stick to the sticky mat because the mask is there in the way so here we go pop this on and there should be quite a nice little bit of design on each of those tiles and I'm going to press them down so that I don't get any seepage underneath. Right, that's down. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to put on some of this super thick slap it on. Ooh, there we go. It's as well to just wipe around the top of the, um, the thread when you put your t cap back on so you don't get it stuck forever. So here's a palette knife. I'm going to apply it with the palette knife fairly thickly, I hope, and just drag it over those three squares. I don't mind if it's lumpy or any of that. Okay. 
just as long as I've got plenty on. Right, scrape. I'm going to put this on. Having said that, I should have wiped it around, but I'm, I'm trying to save time. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is to sprinkle into this um, medium some luscious pigment powder. This is also by Indigo Blue, and this colour is called Lime Spritzer. Lime Spritzer. I'm going to tap it on dry. So this is a, it's actually, I think it's a perfect pearls brush. Yes, it is. You, any soft, fluffy brush will do. So I'm just going to tap some of it over the, the medium over the slap it on isn't it a fabulous name don't you think that's just wonderful this company that the name they give just the names to some of their pro the colors and things like that absolutely wonderful the sense of humor of the of the people who produce them is amazing okay that's going to be hopefully enough now here I've got um, a shimmer spray. It's called Bronze from Pretty Gets Gritty. Just let me give it a shake. Some of these um, shimmer sprays change colour depending on whether you use um, light or dark cardstock, but um, this one not, not so much. I'm going to pop this into my spray box. I don't want to get, don't want to get a spray absolutely everywhere. So let me just make a bit of room. There we go. Now I want to do it reasonably gently. Um, some of that spray, uh, powder has started to mix with the medium and it started to dissolve. But the spray from my shimmer spray it's going to finish the job off and, and colour the rest of it. So here we go. There, I think that is probably enough. Can you see it moving? Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Right, I'll take this out. Pop it back on the desk. Now, just going to wipe around the edge of the, um, just a little, there we go, that'll do for now. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to take off the mask of the leaf. And it's difficult to see where I am. Here it is, here it is. Oof. Look at that. Oh my goodness, isn't that lovely? Now I'm going to take off the mask from the... Oh, some of that hit me in the face. Oh Lord. Right. Let me get a... This is better. Now I've got to be careful that the, that the squares stay down as I lift this up, and they are, that's good oh. Let's do them gently, there we go. And look at those little beauties. Aren't they gorgeous? Just look. Now, just here, I've got, this is an ice cream tub and I'm just going to pop these into there because it's just got water, ordinary water. I don't want them to set onto the plastic and then spoil, spoil the, um, the stencils or the masks or whatever you call them. So, right, I'm just going to clean up the rest of this for a minute. Now, the thing is... I can't touch these for the moment because that paste will take quite a while to dry. So what I've done here 
Let me just give my fingers a bit more of a, a clean. That's a clean one. I don't like actually using gloves. I suppose you could use gloves at one point and then strip them off, but um, not to worry. What I have done is to cut two of these. This is also a Sizzix die. And when I put them together, on the card, I have offset them ever so slightly so that there's a tiny little bit of black showing all to one side of the um, of the top layer. So I can do that now. Um, let me just... I'll just glue it all over it. Often, if you're going to be sticking... Um, mirror card like that it can be marked by glue on the top so that rather than gluing the back of that if you glue the front of the one that's going beneath it you can often avoid those the danger of getting those marks so that's what I'm going to do okay that glue quite likes a little moment just to get a bit tacky as well so here we are, pop that onto there and then just slide it so you can see just a touch of the black peeking out to one side and it just gives that slight shadow, a little feeling of, of distance, of space, of depth, you know what I mean. Okay, I'll just put that on one side. Um, I wanted to put some... Um, I didn't have any um, Nouveau drops in black. I wanted to put black um, berries on, on this die cut. Didn't have any. So what I did was got out a Pro Marker, black Pro Marker, and I got out some pearls. I've got pearls, I love pearls, and I've got flat back adhesive pearls in lots of sizes. I tend mainly to use small ones, but um, I think these are probably some of the biggest I've got. So if I wanted to make blackberries, all I do is go around a pearl with a permanent marker, an alcohol marker. Uh, watercolour ones don't do the job, but um, that's all you do. And then once it's dr dry, take it off and pop it onto, onto the berry. For my sentiment, I used um, a little sentiment from a very old set that I've got. And I don't even know the make. You can see how old it is. I wish, I, I do wish manufacturers would print on the carrier's sheet who they are so that when you look back I, I haven't got space to keep um packaging uh, for everything i've got uh, I'd, i've hardly got space for me in this room never mind packaging as well so i i've got a little stamp that just says hello friend and i use these two uh dies to cut and mount them you have a look here that one I used for the small one. This one I used for the gold. And it's so easy to adapt any dies that you may have to fit any particular sentiment. So I'll just do the first one very quickly just so that you can see how easy it is to do. Okay, so here's a bit of a scrap black card. It's big enough for me to do this with got a, an anti-static tool here. I'll just give it a little wipe over because I'm going to be using embossing. A little Versamark. And stamp. Now, I'm going to put this through my machine, but I don't need all the, all the bits, so I'll get rid of those. Don't like wasting stuff. First thing is emboss. 
with a little bit of gold embossing powder, sprinkle, give it a tap to make sure it's all over everywhere, don't just flick it off, give it a little, little jiggle, it likes a little jiggle first of all, pop this away. And we'll just heat set this. Shouldn't take a moment. Hello, friend. Now, if you can see, there's a little bit of white-ish on the black, which came from my anti-static tool if you want to get rid of that once you have embossed and got it cool you can just give it a little wipe with a soft brush of some description and it's gone now to cut this and make it fit i think i may have to just bring this in a, a moment to show you it's not a difficult process and i do it absolutely all the time if i can get my is that in far enough for you to see? I think it might be. Okay, there is my sentiment. Here is my die. And I'm just going to put it round, round the end nearest to the opening of my die cutting machine. Now, a little bit of low tack tape, just to hold it in position. There it goes. And then we'll cut it out. Don't need to go all the way, just part way and back. Now, take this off that end, turn this around the other way, put my die around the other end of the sentiment, making sure that the distance between the end of the sentiment and the, and the beginning of the uh, die is, is equal both ends. Just tap it down. and just cut it out. So there we've got an appropriately sized die cut for my card. Right. All it remains for me to do is a similar thing with this one, which fits just a little larger. I think that is a, a framelit. This one, I have no idea, but it came from somewhere. So all I have to do now is get this. Once my three little tiles are dry, and it'll take a while, the colour's starting to come out more beautifully now. It's drying off, can you see? Stick those on there. And what I stuck mine down with what were some glue dots small glue dots behind parts of this ascent of the die cut and add the sentiment and we're done so mini mixed media very easy lots of fun and just look at those colors thank you so much for watching